What we're going to make here is corn soup. What started out as a basic Hunda Nishoni corn soup recipe has evolved over the years with my family. And uh, so I'm going to just make our family recipe. I'm going to add a little bit of, just a little bit of oil. Turn on my stove. I'm going to add some, there we go, onions or clove of garlic. There we go. We're going to have the onions cook. Now you can add salt pork or what I found works just as well is a couple pieces of bacon. Now the bacon is not going to get crispy. We're just going to um, cook it with the onions until the onions get a little um, soft. Um, later on we take out the bacon uh, because the bacon remains soft in, in the soup but it does give it a very nice flavor. Uh, Now, as soon as that cooks up a little bit, oh, it smells so good. I like onions and garlic in a lot of my foods. And the original recipe I had didn't really call for onions and garlic. But this does really add a very nice flavor. We have here some white hominy, which is very similar to washed corn that I used to get from Akrasazmi. But now I'm living in Pennsylvania, I don't have access to it, so a can of white hominy works just fine. Now we're going to add a whole can of the kidney beans. Stir that up. Now you can make a huge pot, a little pot, as little of, as much of as you want with this. This is a great recipe to use in a huge quantity when you want to feed a lot of people. Now, my dad, he liked to have his corn soup with stewed tomatoes. So we added stewed tomatoes to our soup. Now I'm going to add some water. This is about four cups of water. Now I'm going to add in the tomatoes. And that is a delicious soup when it's all cooked and done. And you're going to simmer it for oh, maybe 20-30 minutes on the stove. So let's bring it to a boil. Now my daughters, they said, well there's corn in here, there's beans in here, where's the squash? So our corn soup turned out to be three sister soup. There's our squash. And this is our wonderful squash. And it became three sister soup instead of just corn soup. So now I'm going to let this cook and simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to taste it, see if I need to add any more salt. No, there's plenty of salt in the uh, hominy and the beans and the tomatoes, so I don't really need to add any more salt. I'm going to add some pepper. And as it cooks, all the flavors will blend in nicely together. 
So I'm going to bring it to a boil before I let it simmer. And now we have our Three Sisters soup. Easy to make. Now, when you make your squash, I had used a squash that I put, I cut in half. I put it in the microwave. There we go. This is the, the best squash I like to use. Butternut. I put it in the microwave for about four minutes per half side. I mean, it's a little soft and then I can cut off the skin. Of course, before I put it in the microwave, I take out the seeds and I cut off the skin then I cube it up and cut it up in, in cubes. And that is a, a delicious and easy way to make your squash. Now if you don't want to cut up your squash and use it in soup, um, I'm making a small batch here so I still have half a squash left. I like to drizzle it with a little honey or maple syrup and uh, warm it up again in the oven to finish cooking all the way through and it's good just like that. Enjoy my daughters, my lovelies,